Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a recipe video on this coconut yogurt. I make it savory or sweet. I think going the three days makes it more sour when you make the coconut yogurt, and I really like it a lot. And so that's what I did right here. So if you guys want to see how I made this coconut yogurt, then go ahead and keep watching. Hey you guys, I am really excited to be sharing this recipe with you. So you're gonna need three cans of coconut milk or you can use coconut cream. It doesn't really matter. I just basically got three cups of coconut. And then you're also gonna need probiotics. I got the 10 billion, you can get whatever you want. They just have to be in capsule form. And so I'm just going to open up my canned coconut. And you wanna make sure that you're getting the unsweetened kind. So, you know, that's way less carbs and we don't want the sugar anyways. And I'm going to scoop out as much of the coconut as I can into my measuring cup, just because I wanted to use the spout on this. So I just scoop out all of the cream out of these containers and then I'm going to be adding in a little bit of the clear liquid which I believe is just coconut water and um, just to get the consistency that I want because this isn't going to thicken up a whole lot it will once it chills a little bit but you don't want it to be super runny or else it will be super runny yogurt so that looks good right about there and it turns out to be about three cups so I'm going to take my capsules and empty them all out about halfway through I'm gonna give it a stir and then add the rest just so they're more evenly distributed and that's like really it you guys you don't want to use metal you want to use wooden or plastic utensils when making this yogurt and then I like to store mine in a mason jar so I just scoop it all into my mason jar and then cover it with a kitchen towel a thin kitchen towel or some cheesecloth I have this little thing that I crocheted myself forever ago and I thought it'd be nice and breathable so I just put that on there with a rubber band and then you just put it in your cupboard for three days. I did three days on this one. I've seen recipes where they say two days, but three was perfect. All right, you guys, so it's been three days. The longest I've ever gone for this recipe was two, but I wanted to try three days, so I figured I would just do it with this big batch. So now, I haven't even touched it since I put it in there. Now that it's done, I am going to take off the top. Ooh, look at that. I'm just gonna put my lid on and put it in the refrigerator until it's ready to eat. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I like to prepare it. So this recipe makes three cups and that is six half cup servings. So I'm gonna go ahead and dish myself up about a serving or so, add in some pure vanilla extract. You wanna get the pure, not the imitation stuff. And then I like to put some pure sweetener, which is an erythritol and stevia blend. You can put whatever your sweetener of preference is. And when I have extra calories and carbs, I like to chop up some unsweetened dark chocolate and toast up some coconut flakes and add that to the top. So you just sprinkle that and a little bit of sprinkle of the chocolate. And that's it. It's perfection, you guys. This stuff is so good. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.